Let's get it. All right. Hi. Uh, today we're gonna go over GitHub Actions. I recently had to write one slash find one so I can run them. So I figured I'd share it. So first and foremost, what is a GitHub Action? Uh, GitHub Actions makes it easy to automate all of your software workflows. Now with world-class CI/CD, which is continuous integration, continuous deployment, build, test, and deploy your code right from GitHub. Make code reviews, yada, yada, yada. They have other stuff there. Not necessarily all that important. Um, the gist of what a GitHub action actually is, is the ability for you to run arbitrary commands that are typically associated with your repo on a computer. A runner, I guess it's the official term, and typically the runner is theirs, but you could own the runner as well. One thing to note about GitHub actions, and I'm going to cover this because it's very important, is uh, for public repos, they are free. So use it as much as you like. Okay, so for GitHub Actions, let me make this a little bit bigger. If you go to this GitHub repo, you can see that they have a lot of actions for setting up like the language. So what I said earlier is that you get to run arbitrary commands on a computer. In order to run arbitrary commands on the computer, you need to typically install some things like the language that you're using. So they have like install setup node. Um, if you scroll down, oh, setup Rust is in there, but you have like setup Python, setup node, setup Go. And as you saw, because I already had it in here, setup Rust is not on this, on, not on this list, at least not in this official GitHub Actions repo. That said, Third parties, other people have written this for us, and thank you, thank you. One of the ones I came across yesterday was by a Tilted Tree. Um, thank you again, Tilted Tree. Like I found an issue with his uh, README, and he fixed it almost immediately. So thank you, I must appreciate it. Anyway, one of the reasons why I really like this GitHub Action, and GitHub Action installs Rust, obviously is that it came with an example on the readme that is more or less everything that you want slash need. So we have a job. This one is for linting. And well, I could just walk through from the very beginning. We have the name of the workflow, which is Rust. We have our triggers, which is on push. When you push into a branch, they have the branches listed as master explicitly, but you can change that for yourself. And this also gets triggered on pull requests. So those are the cases when this GitHub workflow will be triggered. Then we come down to jobs. We see jobs. We see the first type of job, which is the linting job. And we give it a name. This is the runs on command. So the run on dictates what type of machine that the uh, workflow is going to be ran on or spin up. In this case, it's going to be the latest version of Ubuntu. Then we have our steps, which is the actions that we would like to do. So the first step, which is typically first step in everything, is uh, set up and check out. So we have GitHub action for that, and it's actions, check out, version two. All it really does is check out your source code of your repo and then puts you in that repo so you can start running arbitrary commands from the place that you want to be, which is your repo. The next command, which is the one that's associated with this repo, is the setup and setup rust. And thank you again, a Tilted Tree, for setting this up because I'm using it. I know other people are using it. Thank you for your hard work. Um, you can see that his command comes with some options. So you can pass in the Rust version that you want and a list of components. Um, and then lastly, you have the, the arbitrary command that you're going to be running, which is build and lint, which is just cargo clippy. And we do something similar for the rest of them. So given that I'm a curious person, I always kind of want to know what's going on underneath the hood. I looked at the source code to see how this is being installed or ran. And you can see that here, right? So in this source code, they're using Rust up and they're passing a list of arguments. And the arguments, sometimes they go along this list. We have toolchain, install, version, which is a variable, the profile, which is going to be minimal, allow downgrade, 
And then if there are components, add tac tac component, and then you can add your list of components that you want to install. And if there are targets, which is another option I didn't cover, you can pass in targets as well. Tac tac targets, and then add the target you want to install. So I typically don't install Rust this way, so I was curious and wanted to see the, like just verify this for myself. So I did, I went into my terminal, did Rust up, toolchain install TAC8 so I can see the information output. And it's all listed here. So components, just like they have it, and targets, just like they have it. So more or less, uh, any Rust version slash gambit of components that you can install via this command locally, you can do that with this GitHub action on your GitHub runner. So this is exactly what we want. Thank you again. All right, so let me go through the, the rest of this readme and then I can show you how I used it. So we already went over the, the lint job, right? They also have a compile job. The compile job just checks to see if your code can compile. And it does that by doing the same things. And then at the very end, the arbitrary command is cargo check. Makes sense. And then they have a job for testing. So this one's slightly different in that it gives you a strategy and matrix. And what a strategy slash matrix is in GitHub Actions is a um, sort of a like table testing grid of variables that you want to test against. So in terms of OSs, we have Ubuntu latest, we have Windows latest, and we have Mac latest. And in terms of Rust versions, we have stable, beta, and nightly. More or less, we just want a cross grid of these items to be checked against and to run the arbitrary command of cargo test. So like I was saying before, from my repo, I more or less just copied and pasted this. Like I changed the name so it comes up differently for me. And I changed the branches to apply to my repo, but everything else is just the same. And then I can show you, like I ran it not too long ago. All right, so here you can see the GitHub action results. You can see compile, lint, and then I can show the jobs over here. Scroll down a bit. And you can see the gambit. So you have like Ubuntu latest with stable, Ubuntu latest with beta, Ubuntu latest with nightly. And then the same thing happens for Windows and Mac. So yeah, with that, we have come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And also thank you again to a tilted tree for making this so I and other people can use it. Peace.